What's going on Naughty Nation? It's your boy Mike and today we are in Port Tampa getting ready to get on the Carnival Paradise with the one and only cruise director T O D D on the MIC. That took a lot longer than expected to get through the check-in process and all of that and here is why. So I applied for a passport back in April for my son. I share custody with his mom, so we had to get a letter, sent that in June. The passport agency still has not sent him his passport. It still says unavailable on the website or not available on the website. This is August. Today is August 4th. I had to jump through hoops to be able to get him on the ship. It's well worth it because this is his first cruise. So I'll jump through hoops again, no matter what it needs to be done, just to be able to get him on. But hopefully the passport agency will get him his passport soon. The copy of the, the birth certificate I had from the passport agency, it said void, so that wasn't good enough. Then I had to get in touch with Vital Statistics. That didn't work. So ultimately, I got in touch with his grandma back up in New Jersey, and she came in clutch, helped me out, got me a picture of the original birth certificate, and they accepted that. So we are through, we're up. You see the paradise right there behind us, and we're getting ready to get on, and it's his first cruise. So we're gonna bring you everything. Stick around. If you haven't done so, please hit that subscribe button, ring the notification bell. It costs you absolutely nothing, but it helps the, tremendous, the channel out tremendously. And hit that like button. If you don't hit that like button, something's gonna happen. I don't know what, but you might stub your toe. Who knows? Hit the like, hit the subscribe, ring the notification bell, tell your friends, tell your family. Let's go, Naughty Nation. It's time to get on the Carnival Paradise. What's going on, Nation? We're gonna give you a quick little room tour of our room here on the Carnival Paradise. We have an aft facing balcony, E257. Let's go. Boom, and just like that, welcome to our home for the next four days on board the Carnival Paradise. These rooms do not have beds, or yeah, they do not have beds. So you're gonna sleep on the floor. These rooms do not have a couch, which I find to be a little weird in a balcony room. Usually you have a couch. You have a nice little deck space, desk space here. Some big closets. You have two big closets, a big full length mirror. Another big closet for all your needs, your desk space. Not a bad room, to be honest. Your balcony here, not a bad little balcony. It's very spacious, so this is an extended aft balcony. And it's just me and my son, so we don't need much. So we got two nice beds, a nice balcony. Over here, you could definitely put a little, you know, two-person sofa. So I, I wouldn't, I'm surprised that there's no couch in here. And then you come in, and you have the throne for the king. Boom. 
there's your throne room, your washroom. Nice little mirror. And then your shower. I'm 6'2". Um, I don't have a problem getting in the shower. The only issue I experience when I'm in the shower, even if it's all the way up, is I gotta like crank, you know, this all the way back just to be able to get wet. So I gotta stand like up against the wall. Cause again, I'm 6'2", so you know, tall people problems. Sorry, all you short people. But this is our room E257 here on the Carnival Paradise for the next four days. Out of Tampa, an extended aft balcony. Just enough room. Ain't no complaints from the peanut gallery, that's for sure. It's a nice room, smells clean, cabin store, it's awesome. And this is our home for the next four days. So just get unpacked, relax, and then go see some things around the ship. Let him explore. It's his first cruise. So whatever he wants to do, that's what we're going to do. And I'm going to bring it to y'all. So stay tuned. Stick around. Be the first one to welcome you to the beautiful island of Cozumel, Mexico, where today we get off the ship and head to Paradise Beach for the very first time. And I'm bringing y'all along with me. So stay tuned, sit back and relax, enjoy the ride, and let's go have some fun at Paradise Beach in Cozumel.
All right, Naughty Nation. Well, I've showed you what Paradise Beach looks like. The beer is cold. It's great. It's good. Dos Equis comes in a big bottle. I'm cool with it. It's already gone. The soda's fresh. My son's enjoying that. But now it's time to sit down, look at the menu, get some food. Right from the taco truck, we're going to get some tacos. I'm going to try some shrimp, and we'll get a few things since we got the all-inclusive pass. All food's included. All drinks are included. The only difference we paid was $10 a person to get use of the water activity sports out there. So all the blow-ups, the kayaks, the paddle boards, things like that. They do also offer jet ski rentals here as well. But right now, it's it's food time. It's, it's time to get something to eat. Let's try out these tacos. All right, y'all, we just had lunch. Coconut shrimp was great. Tacos, as long as you eat the beef, you're gonna be in love. The beef was the best. I'm biased, I love beef. However, I love fish tacos. Not my favorite. Shrimp tacos were excellent. The pork, not seasoned that well, but still a good taco. But hands down, that beef taco was the best taco I've had here in Mexico. Spicy shredded beef. Coconut shrimp was great. Cajun shrimp was great. I have really nothing bad to say. I just personally don't like the other two tacos. So if I come again, which I will be in the very near future, it's beef and shrimp all day for me. And just shrimp on the side by itself. I don't need the french fries, I don't need all that. Just bring me the, bring me the coconut shrimp, bring me the Cajun shrimp, bring me the beef tacos, and I'll be very happy. Don't skimp on the, sh the shrimp tacos, and especially that beef taco, that spicy shredded barbacoa. It was absolutely delicious. The best taco I've had in a very long time, especially here in Cozumel. You're in Mexico. Why not enjoy a cold cerveza and some nice, good beef tacos? And just like that, our day here in Paradise Beach in Cozumel has come to an end. Definitely, on my top list. Um, I'm gonna have to compare it to Mr. Sancho's. It's been a little while since I've been there, but I'm pretty sure that Paradise Beach is gonna be my new go-to from here on out. Unless I come with a big group of people, then that's different. Obviously, I'll go where they wanna go. But for now, Paradise Beach, this is the place to be. So stay tuned, look for, look for that vlog coming out in the very near future. It's time to head back to the cruise terminal, baby. Let's go.